The fourth global review of Aid for Trade takes place on 8th to 10th of July here at the WTO in Geneva. The meeting brings good together the trade and development community from across the globe and the theme of this year's event is connecting to value chains. Global trade is increasingly focused on trade in parts and components, the inputs needed to make final products. And services play an ever more important part in delivering these products to the final consumers. This way of trading is becoming increasingly global, both in scope and reach. Products are no longer made in country X or Y, but are now truly made in the world. Aid for Trade is very much focused on how we can help developing countries and least developed countries better connect to the global trading system. This question becomes even more crucial as we seek to help these countries use trade as an engine of growth, development, and poverty reduction. How do we connect them to the trading system? To a system in which production can be spread over different time zones and located across different continents. And with what impact for development? These are some of the questions we will discuss next week. And appealing this year's event is a far-reaching monitoring exercise. Over 800 respondents from 120 countries, both from the private sector, government, and international and regional agencies took part. These results tell us many things. But let me mention just a few. Firstly, developing country policy makers want to add value to their commodities. They want to move up the value chain. Secondly, the private sector tells us that there are a series of barriers getting in the way of doing just that. Issues like access to finance, poor border procedures, lack of regulatory certainty, limited labor skills, and lack of standards compliance. Thirdly, developing the service sector is critical to adding value. And for services, of course, you need skills. Finally, we can use development aid to lay the groundwork for trade and investment. Helping countries connect to the trading system will boost their development, particularly if it tackles the obstacles cited by the private sector. The review is an important contribution to making trade work for development, and it is an opportunity for the trade and development communities to reaffirm their commitment to aid for trade. You will be able to learn more about this event on the WTO website through the series of videos, social media, and publications, which will be posted. On behalf of the WTO Director General, Pascal Lamy, and on my own behalf, we hope to welcome you, both in person and virtually, to the fourth global review of Aid for Trade from July the 8th to the 10th in Geneva. Stay tuned.